Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sound effects in Camtasia. All right, so I'm going to show you where to find sound effects, how I use sound effects, and how they can enhance your video production. Okay, so I've got a sample video here where I was talking about a concept called Keep It Simple Stupid. It's an actual concept and I was doing like a story time video. What I want you to pay attention to is the beginning part because there's a bunch of sound effects that happen and initially you might not notice it, but they actually do make quite a difference in the video viewing experience for the person watching. So I'll just play it here. Keep it simple, stupid. So I first heard this term used when I was in slightly glitchy there because I'm recording, but you guys get the gist. There was like a swipe thing, a swipe thing, and then like a swoosh. If you remove that and you didn't have it at all, you could definitely see the difference with the sounds and without the sounds. And with the sounds makes it a greater experience for the person watching. So I'm going to show you my sound effects library and then I'm going to show you how I use the sound effects because I do have a system when I'm doing tutorial videos. And when you have a system, it makes things easier, speed up the process. And there are sound effects that I do gravitate towards as they are commonly used in my videos. So this right here, I went to library and then I have my own audio library that I entitled myself. And over time, while I have been editing, I have been gathering these sound effects that I feel I would use more than once. So the, the two, there was two that you actually heard. There was this one, and then there, that happened twice, and then the last one you heard, which is the third sound effect, was this one. So it's kind of like a fast swoosh. And the other one was like a really fast swipe. And so I've gathered these sound effects and I make this audio library. So I have some other ones as well that I use, like this bell sounding one. This camera one, crowd cheering. You already heard the fast swoosh one. I sometimes use this electricity one. And whenever I'm talking about money stuff, I use this one. And then I also use a uh, keyboard typing if I'm doing like a tutorial and I'm, I'm t having to type stuff out. And then this one I thought was fun. The magic spells. Like kind of like a, oh, inspiration type thing. First thing I want to say is I didn't get these all at once and I was like, yeah, okay, one, in one go. It was as I was editing videos, I was like, oh, I need a money sound. Let me go and grab that. I'm likely going to use this again. And then I saved it to my library. And then, oh, let me grab a camera one because I'm probably going to show photos a bunch of times. Let me save that one. So let me show you where I get sound effects from. So it's this website right here, artlist.io. I also get music for our vlogs from this website because they have great production quality on music. It's a subscription model, meaning you pay monthly or yearly and you get unlimited downloads and use. So like I said, I also get vlog music, but I also get the sound effects. And if you click on the sound effects tab here, and if you guys want to check out Artlist, I have a link down in the description below. If you sign up through my link, I believe you get one or two months free, something like that down in the description below. So you see here when I clicked on sound effects, it says search unlimited sound effects. And you can see they have already a bunch in categories. Lots of YouTubers use the swooshes and the transitions, but you can see they have got lots of different things, elements of nature, transportation, science fiction. So let's go into the, sw the whooshes or swooshes 
and transitions. And they've got even more categories within that. So let's play some of them. That one's a quite a light one. Whoa, that one was strong. <laughs> Let's see this one here, Reverse Wind Riser. Whoa. And then here this one, I don't I don't really even know what it is, but let's hear it. Okay, so that one was crazy, but basically this is where I get sound effects from. And like I said, I don't just sit here going through everything. What I do is I build my audio library over time. So when I'm editing a video, I'll think, oh, this sound effect would be good here. Like electricity or money or people clapping or a bell sound. And then I'll go get it, load it up, use it in my project, and then I'll think, okay, I'm likely going to use this again. Let me add it to my audio library. And so that's how I've built my current library right now. Because I don't want to save every single sound effect that I've ever used knowing that I might not use some of them again. I want to have a system and think about it for a second and actually think, am I okay, am I going to use this again? Yes, no, yes, okay, save it, no, okay, I can remove it. And so all you do is download it from the artlist.io website or wherever you get your sound effects from. And it's going to be like an MP3 file. And initially when you're using it, you can go to your media and you can just load it up as normal, import media and put it in here and then use it on your timeline. I have everything in my library. So basically what I do is because it's already in my library, I literally just drag it down and place it wherever it needs to go. And so I like to use the sound effects in conjunction with something else that's happening in my video. So I might be saying something, there might be a, a cut happening in the video, there might be a transition, there might be something popping up. So let me show you as an example here. The first two that you're gonna see is gonna be the fast, short, whoosh and it's because i i did these jump cuts keep it simple stupid so i first heard this and so you can see that the sound effects really elevated the beginning part of the video i guarantee you if i took all that stuff out if i took the sound effects out it wouldn't be as cool and here at the end I do this bell sounding one whenever I say, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Whenever I say the thumbs up, I always have that bell sound. It's kind of like catching people's attention to put to what I just said about, you know, give us a thumbs up and then I put the bell sound so that they'll be like, oh, okay, bell. And then they'll click the thumbs up. So I'll play it for you here. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving us a thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. So there were two sounds in there. There was that bell when I popped up and then there was like, when I went back down, it was a fast swipe sound. And so I have these set sounds that go throughout our videos depending on what I'm saying. And so when you have a sound effect that you're using for the first time, all you need to do is right click on it and go add to library. And then you can rename it. This has a really long name or you can leave it. And then you add it to the library that you've created. And so you can see here that I have a couple of different libraries. And specifically, I wanted to have only an audio one because I didn't want it to get mixed up with like pictures and video footage and other things. I, I only wanted the audio just to keep it simpler when I'm editing. And if you don't already have a folder for audio, basically all you need to do is head over to library, go to the top here, create new library, name it as such. So I, I called it Esatino Audio. So I know that it's audio for our Esatino stuff. Keep it start from blank and then click create and then you'll have a brand new blank folder that you can add your audio to. 
So that's how I use sound effects. That's where I get sound effects. I highly recommend using them in your videos. It will definitely enhance your projects. If I was able to help you out at all, please give us a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.